90% of India's 1 billion people live in her villages. Nearly half of rural students drop out of school before the fifth grade. By conventional standards, rural India is probably the last place you'd expect to find inventors and innovators. And yet, the Honeybee Network has discovered more than 10,000 of them over the last 15 years. It's a network of oddballs, crazy people. And you meet one crazy person and ask him or her about another and another. So there's a chain of creative people and crazy people, which essentially constitutes what Honeybee Network is all about. Professor Anil Gupta is a bit of an oddball himself. He teaches agronomics at the Indian Institute of Management. Located in Ahmedabad, the business capital of the Western Indian state of Gujarat, the institute is counted among the best management schools in the country. By 1990, Gupta was a well-known authority on biodiversity conservation. He had traveled extensively in rural India and understood what farmers were doing at the grassroots level. But there was a guilt. And the guilt emerged because I was an international scholar getting these salaries. Wasn't I exploiting the poor people in the ideas market? After all, I had published so much. That is what made me famous. That's what attracted, generated these requests and these assignments. My income increased. But when I looked at my income as return, where did I find the line about how much of it has gone back to the people whose knowledge I wrote about and therefore became rich? He decided to document and publicize the ingenuity of the villagers through a newsletter. The first newsletter was printed in English in 1990. It was five pages long and set out what Gupta wanted to do. The Gujarati version, called Lok Sarvani, would be launched later. We just typed it and Cyclo styled it at the time, 200 copies, and sent it to scientists, professionals, Basically, the people in whose mind we wanted to create some space for the knowledge of people. So first issue did not go to the farmers as many, only a few farmers. But primarily it went to the policy makers, to the scientists, to the volunteer organizations, the government workers, to impress upon them that knowledge of the people counts. The initial response was largely positive. Fortunately for Gupta, his school decided to support the newsletter with office space and staff. We had given ourselves the mandate through faculty discussions to make a thrust in the area of innovation and entrepreneurship. And Professor Gupta's um, proposal fitted right in. We also had given ourselves a mandate many, many decades earlier to be involved in rural development, management of rural development. And this also was in accordance with this. And so we felt that this would be a very excellent uh, way by which we could make that contribution. The newsletter was on its way now. But soon enough, Gupta realized that he needed more manpower. 190 square kilometers of Gujarati hinterland was a large area to search. With limited funds, he needed volunteers and looked to the local government college. Nearly 30 students of rural studies came forward to help Honeybee as part of a summer project. BRS College में अभ्यास करता था तेरे professional सृष्टि संस्थान का professional गुप्ता क्रिकेट बाजार ने भी जानने साथी आए ना हमारा विद्यार्थी स्पीड था ना विद्यार्थी ने इंटरव्यू ली था ऐमा हमने उन आरु सर्वे मटे सिलेक्शन करवाया है तो हमें कोटा ना गांव में जिला नहीं आसपास जाने नव संसदन परंपरागत ज्ञान विषय में संसदन करी नहीं � the volunteers began to fan out into rural Gujarat, telling people about...